mate, if anybody's got a small violin in the comments, like honestly, I really would appreciate it. <laughs> Comes all this way to watch the Champions League football once again. Not good enough. Yeah, I think overall, you know, we're just delighted with the results and um, we'll kick on now and enjoy Wembley. 100% I was always confident. Um, yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. Of course, all of our minds are on the cup final, but not us. No, we are checking up on the women's side, Becky Langley's side. Let's bring up the league table before I start and make my way in there. One of them is tonight against North East rivals Middlesbrough. And we've still got to play Durham at home. So it's all to play for in this league. It's very, very tight. Only one team can go up. So Johnny's on his way over now to Kingston Park. I'm off to meet him. Let's get going. Passing every red light I know I'm in over my head A rebel and I don't hide Remember all the words that you said Even if the love was hurting I'll be yours I'll be yours Hello everybody, I've met Johnny, hello Hello You alright? Shattered You shattered, how was the journey? Um, after eight hours of work, then come straight, yeah. Ah, uh, I see a violin, yeah. Uh, mate, mate, if anybody's got a small violin in the comments, like, honestly, I really would appreciate it. Right, you know what I do, people? Get Comment below with the violins. Violin and with a... The smallest violin that you can find on your Moji wins. I'll be yours again I can feel the fires burning Give me more So tell me, would you feel my love? Next year to everybody, you might see uh, a few YouTubers appear on, uh, on the channel. Matty, Rubenstein, yes, yeah. Adam P, ourselves. Looking forward to the final? Absolutely buzzing, mate. Aye, absolutely buzzing. I finally secured the tickets. Get in. Absolutely buzzing for it, man. Roll it on. You can make me let go. Forget about the world. For a while, you had me at hello. I'm drowning in the blue of your eyes. Even if the love was hurting, I'll be yours. I'll be yours again. I can feel that fire's burning. Give me more. So tell me, would you feel my blue? Alright everybody, Johnny's going to talk you through whatever that is, but I'll put a graphic on screen, Johnny, talk us through the lineup. Yeah, a few changes, actually quite surprising that Becky's gone with a few changes today, so Grace Donnelly of course remains in goal, captain for Newcastle. Back four remains the same as well, there was a, maybe a little bit of speculation whether Daisy Burt will be starting because she did play for England yesterday, I know she played 45 minutes, but um, she is fit enough to uh, start the game, we'll see how long she can last tonight. Midfield. Three changes in the midfield from the win against York last time out. Lauren Robson, who scored the winner against Borough, if you remember rightly, early on in the season. She starts on one side. Casey Austin returns on the other side this, uh, this evening with Beth Guy making an emotional start tonight. Obviously, really, really sad news of the passing of her mother, which obviously is, you would have seen the minutes of pause for, which is greatly received. She's in the middle with Clara Milne Redhead, and up front it's the trusted duo of Georgia Gibson and Katie Barker. Someone keeps playing the horn and it's getting to Johnny. <laughs> Do you know what? Fair play for all the fans coming because it's, it's probably about three, three and a half hours. Marching in, aren't they? Yeah, they certainly are. <laughs> certainly are. You've probably heard the chant um, down the south coast in Southampton, but obviously let's just change the Saints to the Mags. But it's a Southampton song. Both. Yeah. Both. Um, after 15 times in the first 25 minutes, it's a bit... Um, Let's be polite, irritating. 
So the best chance so far has fallen to George Gibson, who had a chance free kick from about 25 yards, tested the goalkeeper, but it's still no no. Charlotte Potts think this is Philippe Albert for a second. An amazing run. Hits one out. Why not? Why not? The game needs something special, so. <laughs> don't. 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 Go on. Uh, can you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> He's at it again everybody, he's at it once again, he comes all this way to watch the Champions League football once again, not good enough. Just between my head and Johnny's head is Dan Ashworth. If you can say it's in between there. Mm. Big, Johnny, what big, a chance that was, man. Biggest moment of the game, really, for New for Newcastle. Uh, the defender let the ball bounce, and you don't do that when Katie Barker's around. The pace to just burn that defender the pace through one on one in the box, who was just the keeper to beat. Didn't beat the keeper, Get straight at the goalkeeper and straight into her midriff. And it's still Newcastle United nil, Middlesbrough nil. Oh, Rachel Lee has just cannoned one off the post. We're getting there, we are getting there. Well, Johnny was said it was coming. Yeah, it, it was coming. It has been. It has been looking like that. Newcastle were going to get that goal. It was just a matter of when and not if. If we're being polite towards Middlesbrough, but look, a bit more relief now. Great, great goal by Casey Elson. It was Beth Guy. Their lovely ball into the path of Casey Elson on the edge of the box. A couple of touches inside the box just to keep it a beat. Straight in the back of the net. 73 minutes played. Newcastle one, Middlesbrough nil. Two 0 Fergie has scored off the bench. It's game over. Newcastle are going to win this game and close it right up behind Durham. Georgia Gibson has just cannoned off the bar. Passing every red light. I know I'm in over my head. A rebel that I don't hide. Remember all the words that you said Even if the love was hurting I'll be yours I'll be yours again I can feel that fire's burning Give me more So tell me would you feel my love So Johnny is over on the other side Just waiting to grab Becky in a player However, this is a massive win for Newcastle. This is the game in hand that they had to win today to close the gap right up behind Durham. It's only a point in it. You can see it in the league table there. It's a point between the two sides. First place will crown you champions. First place means promotion. Second means you stay in the league and you get nothing. It's all a play for it. It's extremely tight Newcastle. As I say at the start of this video, have to play Durham at home. That is a big, big game. That's in a couple of weeks' time. Whoever wins that has momentum going in the final few games of the season. It's a massive game, that one. One of the North East sides are going up. But let's cut to Johnny. Johnny, what about you? Betty, congratulations. Another win. Contrasts of halves, but the job done, and that's the most important thing at this moment in time. Yeah, we were frustrated at, 
um, half time and we, you know, we knew we had to be patient, but we needed more from some of the players. And I thought the reaction was great in the second half, really kicked on, and we were the dominant team in the second half. And the game management towards the end of the game was brilliant. Um, it's a brilliant finish from Casey to really open the scoreline for us. He absolutely rifled it into the back of the net, cutting in as that inverted winger. Um, but yeah, I think you know there's some some chances in the final third. We want to do better on next time. We want to be more clinical in those areas. Um, that finish the attack phase does need to be better. But yeah, I think overall, you know, we're just delighted with the result and um, we'll kick on now and enjoy Wembley. Beth, congratulations! Another win, and Newcastle United women's team are just flying at the minute. How did you assess today's game? Yeah, you know, we knew Borough were going to be a tough challenge, um, and we knew we had to grind out the win. Um, and like I said. They actually posed a difficult challenge for us. It was pinball and it was tough for us in the first half to play our football the way we wanted to do. But yeah, it was a great three points in the end. You did mention the second half, just needed something. And I have to be honest, I know Beth, so there's been a lot of news in regards to Beth and her family. And, and of course, we send our condolences to Beth. But that pass to Casey, and Casey does the rest, yeah. just shows everything about what this team is all about them, and doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's credit to Beth. Her attitude and desire to play last week after, obviously, the previous night she'd had with the mum and stuff. But I think, you know, Beth plays with so much passion and desire, and she's done Michelle and all the family so proud. So just credit to her. She's a top girl, and she, you know, she says, we must win this league now, we must kick on. So, yeah players like her with that type of narrative to want to really win this league and and really yeah get into tier three and kick on from there is just fantastic. What do you think the difference was between the first half and the second half in, in regards to you actually finding that moment to break the deadlock? I think in the first half I think we were rising to what they wanted. Um, they wanted a kind of a dogfight, a you know, pinball, they were slowing the game down, kicking the ball out every chance they got and I think we were rising to that and they wanted us to rise to it but in the second half I just thought we kept our heads and we actually played our football in the second half. Let's be honest, I think everyone's looking at this as the game in hand because obviously there's that gap between Durham, it's very much, it's very very close, one point, you, you know, Durham know, it's probably between the pair of you if we're being honest, I know you probably won't admit that to me right now but <laughs> Are you looking towards that game or do you feel that you still have to take a one game at a time? I know there's eight games left, but is it because it's nearly there, it's nearly on the horizon, do you have to kind of go, we've got to start thinking about it? Yeah, your head-to-heads your head -head are obviously really important, but as we know from last season, it wasn't the head-to-head -head that really cost us. It was the weekend after when we drew with Chorley, so we know how important every single game is for us. Um, we know that you know it's one game at a time and every result matters, but we've got to take care of our performance first. If we're putting too much pressure on ourselves to win, then you know by wanting to win, you're not just going to win. You've got to think about what do I need to do with the ball? What do I need to do without it? What attitude am I bringing? And just making sure that we give absolutely everything and go harder than the opposition right the way through the 90 minutes. And we've always got that extra gear. Um, so yeah, I'm just really proud of the players and the staff work so hard behind the scenes to make sure that every inch of what we're doing is kicking us on to tier three. So we just, again, got to keep our focus on our performances and the byproducts winning. So yeah, really delighted. We'll enjoy going upstairs after now and just having some food and relaxing. But yeah, we're delighted. You certainly played your part in the first goal, that pass towards Casey. There was just that, I think it was just, we were just missing that pass and yeah. obviously you created that moment for Casey and she did the rest and she took the call very, very well. Did you feel a bit more relaxed at that point thinking, well, it's only about 20, 25 minutes left, it, the goal was coming, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think throughout the whole game, I think we thought, we always thought we were going to score and we were going to get the win. Um, so, yeah, 100%, I was always confident. Um, but yeah. One point off Durham now. Do you look at the league table at this point or do you just focus on yourselves? No, I think we focus on ourselves. We, we have eight games to go um, and we're taking each game as they come. Um, and, you know, we're now looking forward to Leeds, um, who we play next weekend. Um, and we just have to take each, each game as it comes and we know we know if we stick to our job and our roles and do our game plan, then we'll come out with the three points. Squad depth's very, very important. Yeah. And Becky Ferguson obviously getting that goal. Yeah. Lovely ball by Georgia Gibbs. And we keep on saying that every single week about Georgia. But it's nice to see that the options off the bench are paying off because they're just, like I say, I mentioned to you last time, they're creating headaches for you. And yeah. when little things like that happen, it makes your job even harder, but better as well at the same time. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the players coming off the bench, you know, the players that have worked so hard. Um, obviously, Shorty coming back from an ACL injury. Um, Becky Ferguson's a young player in and around England age groups with such quality. And, you know, she's an 18-year-old girl and she's got the quality and composure to finish a chance. And, yeah, I'm really really pleased for her I thought she did really well when she came on and that's the thing subs have got to be impactful and now we've got that depth we know we've got you know we're leaving good players out of the squad of 16 now um, good players are you know in that development team getting more game time so yeah it's a great problem to have and yeah we've got a great group and we're going to need all of them it's obviously been a quite a difficult few weeks yeah. and I know before the game that you've obviously seen the picture yeah, yeah. of um, Michelle mm -hmm. and I know that must have been very very difficult but yeah. Did you try to separate that when you're on the pitch? Because you're by far, so you, you look so composed. It was almost like you, not that you was away from your mind, but it seemed like you, it was just like, come on, we'll get through it, we'll get through it. Yeah, um, definitely. I think now it, it, it gives me an extra motivation when I'm on the pitch. Because um, football, she, like, when obviously my, like my mum played a huge part of me playing football and she knew football was my release um, throughout it all. So I think now when I step on the pitch, I'm doing it for her. And like I said, I've said it to the girls and Becky, like this season for me, it's a must. We must win the league and we must win every game that we have coming up. Um, but yeah, if, if, it just gives me that extra bit of motivation, extra bit of push to, to do well and perform well. It's a small game on Sunday. I know they're taking away <laughs> yeah. the limelight from yourselves at the minute, but like the men's side have taken on Manchester United, as you well know, mm -hmm. on Sunday. Do you have a message to the men's side and how much are you looking forward to that game? Yeah, we're very much looking forward to it. The players are coming down to Wembley, which is great. The club have supported the girls having a ticket and enjoying the day, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just a massive good luck to Eddie and the team. Again, we know how hard they work behind the scenes day in, day out to make sure the club's going in the right direction and what a positive influence Eddie, his team, Dan and you know the owners and the staff have really brought to Newcastle United Football Club. So it's a breath of fresh air it's an absolute joy to work with these people and their advice is just invaluable so yeah we're really hoping that they get to enjoy their day and celebrate a win at Wembley I think yeah it'd just be written in the stars wouldn't it so fingers crossed we can all enjoy that day but I'm sure you know Newcastle fans regardless of the outcome will just be so proud of their team going to Wembley and you know putting on a great performance against Man United. I've heard, I've heard that if Newcastle do win on Sunday, the manager buys the first round for everybody. Is that correct? <laughs> I definitely, I don't buy the first round for this lot. So <laughs> maybe, maybe Eddie does, but I don't know about that. If we win this league, I'll buy the first round. <laughs> keep you to that. Congratulations. You certainly perform well tonight. And just finally, there's a little game on Sunday. Yeah. You know, just a little game. Yeah, yeah, just New, Newcastle versus Manchester United at Wembley. Mm -hmm. Can Newcastle and well, the men's side end their trophy drought and? bring that trophy home and you know can you see the likes of a Kieran Trippier or Jamal the cells lifting that trophy at Wembley I can yeah I mean I don't see why not you know I think you could no one probably expects Newcastle to win it but I think if you look at the hype around social media it all seems to be Newcastle fans at the minute and you know man you were kind of just there have been plenty of cup finals so I probably yeah I don't see why not definitely Fantastic stuff. Again, I just want to, everybody from Newcastle fans TV just wants to send their condolences and obviously their thoughts to you, but you certainly did your man proud tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, so I'm back at the car. So, yeah, that, unbelievable by Beth to show the courage. Uh, if you can show us some love in the comments because the girls do watch our videos, that would be absolutely wonderful. Just to give her that, that little bit of a boost. So thank you for everybody who's done that on the social medias across with Facebook and Twitter as well. But yeah, it's freezing now. Um, it's time to get back here, head down that A1 and get wrapped up and start editing the way. Excuse me, you couldn't tell us where the nearest Nando's is, is it? Shut your mouth. <laughs> so tell me, would you feel my buffalo?